Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a raid Shadow Legends video. Okay, um, we need to talk Hydra again, uh, but for a different reason right now. We're doing a bit of a reset in the optimizer, and I'm going to talk about why. I'm also going to talk to you about some of the features that have been added recently. Um, but basically, we need your help again. Um, so what's going on? When we go into the optimizer, so anyone who is not aware, kind of download the optimizer from hellhades.com. Uh, if you hit upload to website on this, this little gizmo that we, um, we send you, then basically you upload a screenshot of your account, which is what I've got here of mine. Now what the optimizer can do, which is super sweet, is allow you to go into the team optimizer function and find teams, find some of the strongest teams in the game. What you can do, like literally any content, you can go into, apart from Arena, I guess, you can go into Clan Boss, Ultra Nightmare, and say, find me a team. And what it will do is it will look at the champions that you own, and it will look at the highest damage that, that the optimizer can find for teams that have run Clan Boss. It can't tell you, unfortunately, do you have the gear to actually do it. So you do need to go into the teams and you know have a look and literally be like, mm, I'm not sure if I can achieve this. You could also tell it, I do want it to include someone like Wixwell, for example, apply filter. Or you could say, no, actually, with all of the, the stuff going on, I don't want it to include Wixwell. Okay, so these are some things that have been added in and over time it's been refined, right? What we've had to do because of the changes to Hydra is completely reset Hydra because the, the numbers now are just so far different from what is actually achievable. So as soon as I go in, so we're on rotation two of Hydra Nightmare. There's there's a couple of teams which somehow have slipped through, which we need to manually remove. Uh, but once we get down to team four here, this is all fresh information. Look at this. Variations one, total battles one. There's actually 867 since we did the removal like this morning, which is crazy actually. But one of my pleas of this video was, when you're running your Hydra battles, please have this tool on. Please have the extractor open so that we can start to gather new Hydra data for people so that, yeah, we can we can get a sense of helping the community out again with building these Hydra teams. Give you an example here. When I go into my Hydra runs, and I'm seeing some people who have done silly damage, by the way. There's still those videos, Hydra's not fixed type of stuff. They're definitely like the exceptions because Hydra is like insanely harder than it was last week. Like insanely harder. I put out a run over the weekend with me doing uh, my new kind of Iasu team here, which was about 300 mil. Um, maybe I could have squeezed a bit more. I'm not sure, but you can see like the, the level of damage from pretty high level players is significantly less than it was last week. Most people, you know, capping out around three to four hundred mil, whereas we get the odd exceptions that are still doing insanely high damage. Uh, but anyway, the plea is please have this extractor running whilst you do your hydro battles over the next few weeks, so that we can regain the the data for the community. Yeah, the the way the the tool works is unless we have players that have the extractor running whilst they do their content then the, the team optimizer can't find things for other people. Uh, I, I'm shocked, honestly, by the amount of teams that are already in here that I can find, which are now one battles where people have done exactly that. They've just run their team with the optimizer open. I thought I was going to come in here and see like five teams. So that's actually really cool to see. You know, interestingly, if, if you were to do it on any other content, let's just pick um, content that's done a lot. So I don't know, something like Dragon Hard 10. Might be a good one like if i was to go into here seventeen thousand teams that gives you a an idea of what's going on plus some of them with you know a lot of battles like this one here 1.9k battles uh which gives you real confidence that this team is a 100 percent success rate for example so we're trying to get back up on on hydra to a similar level of of stuff just just while i'm talking optimizer a few things we've added so We've now got in the manage account, your soul forge collection. Basically what this is doing, and Saf, I'm gonna just describe the way Saf spoke about this here, because I don't hoard souls on, on champs that I'm not that fussed about. 
But basically what it's doing here is a tool that lets you look at your souls in the forge and check them against your roster. So here's a good example. Raka, I've got a five star soul for and I've not uh, leveled her out yet. So it's, it's helping you understand where you should awaken if you want to. So you can literally go in there and say, uh, what are my five star souls? Have I got any that I should just like, you know, turn on right now? And you can identify which ones you'd actually like to sell. And there'll be more filters and stuff coming at some point. But just a, a little add on that was done. So the, the other things that's worth just calling out in here are in terms of actually doing your your champion read years. Uh, so I'll do a, a quick example of a read year. Let's grab who do I want to just gear for damage? Let's um let's grab Narsus, who I've not read in a, quite a while. So you've got a build that you've already got. You can see all the stats, you can see the build. You can use the optimizer to try and see if your gear is better than when you did your last optimization or if you've never used it you can just see if you can get a better build than what you've what you've done so as soon as you've used it once it will keep the same information from your last build and so i can see here at 220 speed going for a damage build in the start mode anyone you're building for a nuka should be damage build anyone you're building just for like stat gain probably balanced so by that i mean Someone who's going to be doing debuffs, someone who's going to be doing uh, high speed. Balance mode is the best for that. And then full tank is like survival mode. So you can choose which one you want to do. So I'm just going to go 220 speed. And then I can also tell it if I've got glyphs. So I could be like, you know, I've got a number of four star glyphs I can throw on. Uh, so optimizer, find me stuff like that. Narcissus is an HP based champ. So I can say, yeah, look, I've got a number of five star HP glyphs that I can put on. And then the optimizer will assume that I'm just going to use those. I can also go into sets and either tell it a set that I want it to, to add, or I can exclude sets. So I can be like, yeah, don't go putting on my lethal gear, for example. And I can just exclude lethal. I'm not going to do that for this, but that gives you an idea of what I can do. I can also go into slots and kind of take this as far as I want. So I could say I can max any artifact an accessory ascension bonus if i've got the stuff to do it i can also tell it what i'm going to change the ascension bonus to if i need to so in this one i'm saying on the gloves assume that i can change my ascension bonus to crit damage or crit rate with the amount of dust that i've got and assume that i'm going to get max health for my chest and assume that i can get either health or speed for my boots yeah and i could also say Oh, by the way, all of the top row, I'm going to get max health for. And for the bottom row, for the uh, for the accessories, assume that I can do basically whatever I want, right? That's, that's what this part is. So this is like when you're really min-maxing gear and you're trying to find the best possible items, bearing in mind you're going to put some extra work into them. So once you've done that, I can then go into optimize and it tells me all of the different things that I've got active. It is worth just considering on the configure if you've got champions that you've locked. See, see my champion Narcissus here is a lock five. That means for me, that is champions where I don't want to change their builds. So anyone who's a lock five is for me, someone that I don't want to build. You could have lock fives of your clan boss team, lock fours of your arena team, lock threes are, I don't know, your dungeon teams, whatever. And then you can decide which, which lock status that you would never touch. In terms of activating that, you can go to manage account. And then if you look in your optimizer settings, you can enable advanced locking in here, just as an idea. So Narsus, go back in. Any of the stuff I just done, it, it saves. So I don't need to worry about uh, resetting everything. It's already done it. So just in that configure, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let it exclude no one. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually just going to show you uh, full beans what my build can do. It's worth saying as well, if you've got a fast PC or, or your PC's not, not being used for other stuff, I can just pause this, stop it a second. I can put on burst mode. See this GPU burst mode? Bam. And if we now look at the speed that it does, the optimizations is actually insane. It's basically used all of my GPU there to do it. So what we see here now is 131k. So you can see my, my previous build, 119k. Previous crit damage, 291. Crikey, this is actually insane. If I strip gear from everybody on my account, look at this. So 
if I click skills, I can get 34% more damage out of my Narcissus build if I literally take from anyone on my account. That's crazy high. I can't, like 34% more damage. And this then tells me where what I'd need to do. So I'd need to be stealing these pieces, which is very doable, actually. I need to be stealing these pieces, and then I need to be basically re doing the ascension. So you see here, these boots are not currently ascended, but it knows that I'm going to get 20% HP from these boots, for example. Yeah, so it's it's basically saying, although these don't have any ascension right now, we know you're going to max them, and then we're going to max it to 20% HP. And if you do that, this is the build we can deliver to you. 34% more damage. This is where the optimizer is a massive win for people that, that want to like min max stuff because wow, I actually can't believe how much more damage that's saying. I really thought Narsus was basically in my best build, best my best gear possible. So wow, uh, I'm actually blown away by that. So yeah, this is the type of stuff you can do with the optimizer. As I say, it's really a tool that helps you manage your account as best as possible. But going back to my original request, we'd love for you to keep this running whilst you're doing uh, all Hydra runs over the next few weeks, just so we can rebuild that kind of like pool of available info. We're also considering, we're considering resetting any Wixwell teams for clan boss, normal clan boss as well. Now, not because we think the teams don't work anymore, they still work, but there is less damage in the lower end team. So my Wixwell team here is actually doing kind of the same damage that it always did. But I know that when I did the budget team with Wixwell, it was like a two key instead of a one key now. So um, we're considering to do a, a full reset of Wixwell clan boss teams as well. Um, so I just bear that in mind. It just means there'll be less information to share with you guys in the short term. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, hopefully you guys get a lot of use out of the optimizer. As I say, it's a free tool for anyone who wants to use it. If you do the premium, which is basically an uncommon membership on the website, then it unlocks a bunch of other things as well, uh, like advanced features, like you can see here, the artifact rating system. And there's a bunch of things that it unlocks for you um, in Team Optimizer as well. You get to see full information around everything, like all of the masteries people are running, all of the gear sets they're wearing, all of the um, default kind of AI configuration they've got. Like it's a one pager that really gives you everything you could possibly need. So there's a few other things as well, but yeah, hope you enjoy it. And we appreciate everyone who helps us out with this. We will see you in the next one.